Good evening and welcome to In the Paint. Tonight couldn't get here fast enough. We had some big time games on the schedule. I couldn't wait to see take place. That's right, Rick. We had rivalry games, ranked teams battling, and several key conference games taking place. In all, we have action from 14 games. We'll begin with Indiana's oldest high school boys basketball rivalry. I'm talking about Vincent's Lincoln Washington from the mid 80s to early 2000s. Vincent's Lincoln owned this series. Then that Zeller family came along and boy did things change with the Hatchets dominating the Alice's from 2005 through 2011. The Vincennes community was like most of the state and thrilled to see the Zellers all graduate since 2011. It has once again been the Alice's who have had the upper hand in this series. In fact, Vincennes has won four straight over Washington. Then you get to this season and this rivalry is as even as it's been in years. Washington comes in 11 and 5, winners of 8 straight, while Vincennes is 14 and 4 and the Alice's have won 7 in a row. Anticipation was high for this game and it showed the Hatchet House was packed like the old days. Both student sections were awesome. Matthew Stevens Nice dime to Connor Brown for a Washington layup. Hatchets built a seven-point first quarter lead. Vincent's Lincoln would battle back. Look at the tough layup from Connor Barmas. Washington got a big first half from Jacob Overton. He knocks down the deep two. The Alice's trailed the whole first half until Ethan Claycomb took over the spin. Hoop and foul would give Vincennes their first lead of the game. Claycomb scored the final seven points of the half to give Vincennes a 24-21 advantage at the break. Colton Garland had 12 for the Hatchets. His three pushes Washington's lead to 36-30 in the fourth. Vincennes Lincoln answers with a 6-0 run by who else? Mr. Star, Brant Nowowski from downtown. He's just getting started. Then Nowowski, the assist to Barmas, who ties the game at 36. Vincent's Lincoln takes a two-point lead on Ethan Claycomb's drive. Washington answers back with less than a minute to play on the other end. Garland, a tough drive, ties things at 38. This game lived up to the hype. Still tied under 10 to go. The Alice is going for the winner. Look at the shot. Jacob Reese gets to go. What a friendly bounce. That's your game winner at the buzzer. That was Breezy's first hoop of the game. Wow, what a finish. Vincent's Lincoln wins 40-38. The Alice's win the Big 8 title thanks to their fifth straight win over the Hatchets. They win tonight. What a game. The victory also gives Jeff High his 100th victory at Vincent's. After the game, Sports 10 caught up with the victorious coach. Our kids uh, responded. They, they locked down on defense. We made a couple plays on the defensive end. We're able to get ourselves in a position. Uh, Brant and Connor both hit three pointers to tie it up, and then Jacob was able to make that shot there at the end. Uh, last week we had a couple of close games, and we kind of used that to build on it. We've been in that position before, so we used that as momentum to come in here, and we know how to get the job done. Hats off to Jacob Brees. Didn't shoot well all night, but he got the big one at the end, and that was huge. So, great team win there. Like I told him in the locker room, didn't play very well offensively, but we found a way to get it done by holding in there on the defensive end and, and battling till the end.